If I were you, I would go buy this watch ASAP. Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch and welcome to a very special review. Today's video is something we never did before and it's in partnership with Louis Rar. It's for the launch of the latest collaboration which they made with Vianney Halter. Check the link in the description for more information on how you can purchase this piece. In the world of collecting independent watch brands, there's a few who many aspire to own. Vianney Halter is one of them. Vianney Halter is a French-born watchmaker who resides in Switzerland. In the past, he was known for restoring, you know, antique clocks, pocket watches and also wristwatches. In 98, he launched his first watch, which was the Vianney Halter Antiqua, a perpetual calendar which immediately became an instant classic and opened the doors to the AHCI, which is the Academy for Independent Watchmakers. Usually, Vianney watches cost anywhere from 50,000 Swiss francs upwards to 680,000 Swiss francs. To name a few, we have the Vianney Halter Classic, the Vianney Halter Trio, Antiqua, the Opus 3, which was made in collaboration with Harry Winston, and the pinnacle of his watchmaking is the Janvier watch. One of my personal favorites is the Deep Space Turbion, which has a triple axis turbion in the middle and rotates around the whole dial. It's inspired by Star Trek. I'm really happy that Louis Rar created this collaboration with Vianney Halter and offered, you know, more collectors an opportunity to have a piece of his watchmaking. This watch that they created actually costs 3.5 thousand Swiss francs, which again, compared to its other watches, is a steal. A while ago, we reviewed the Louis Rar Alain Silberstein watch on this channel. This is in the same segment, now with Vianney Halter. The goal with Louis Rar and these creators is to offer, you know, a piece of watchmaking which usually costs a lot of money to a more wider audience. If you think about it, Vianney Halter made around 500 watches in his career. This collaboration is a limited edition of 178 pieces. What's also interesting to know is that this is the first regulator style watch Vianney Halter has ever made, and it's something Louis Rar are known for. There's quite a few similarities when you look at the dial of this watch with Vianney Halter's creations. If you look at the font of this model, it's actually inspired by the other watches. You can find the same font in the Antiqua, the Trio, and also in the Classic watch. Around the periphery of the dial, you have the railway mini track, which actually slightly curves at 6 and 12 o'clock. Another signature of this watch are the hour and the minute hand. They're both blued, and actually the tip of them resembles a fountain pen. The dial of this model also bears both the brand's names. So at 3 o'clock we have the Louis Rar logo and the brand name, and at 9 o'clock we have the Vianney Halter logo. Both of the appliques are elevated and satin finished. The silver upper plate features a circular satin finish. We can also see a few openings with the matte gray lower plate, which has a micro bead blasted finish. Because this is a regulator dial, you can read the hours here at 12 o'clock. The minutes are actually this long hand, which is centralized, and the seconds counter is at 6 o'clock. So now we have 10 o'clock, 9 minutes and 35 seconds. When I look at the crown, it also reminds me of Vianney Halter. It's a crenellated crown, which is very easy to grip and to wind the watch and to set the time. And on the tip of it, you have the Louis Rar logo. Powering this watch, we have the Celita SW266-1 caliber. It's a 4 Hz movement with a 38 hour power reserve. On the automatic rotor, we have also the Louis Rar logo on it. The focus of this watch was definitely on the dial side. As a collector myself, for this price point, I don't expect the movement to be grandiose or, you know, specially finished. And I really appreciate that Louis Rar, you know, still decided to have an open case pack versus a closed case pack. The whole case from the front, back and side is highly polished and is actually water resistant to 50 meters. Let me now put the watch on the wrist and show you guys how it fits me. This watch features a tank buckle, which is beautifully polished and bears the Louis Rar logo and the name on it. The blue calf Nubuk leather strap is super comfortable and they nicknamed it Oceania for the color. The strap actually features functional cat spring bars, so you can change the strap really quickly. The watch from the side is actually 12.25 mm thick, and turning it around you can see the size. The diameter of the case is actually 42 mm, and as a comparison my wrist is 18.1 cm, so you can get an idea of the size. I really like the look of the watch, with the blue hands, the white dial, it's really cool. You can pair this model with a jacket like I did, or maybe, you know, something more comfortable, jeans and t-shirt. Because this watch features the Vianney Halter on the dial, you can also notice, you know, all of the characteristics like the font, the crown, 
the different you know, finishings and also the hands. It's something really special. As a watch collector and somebody who loves Vianney Hotter's watches, I'm really happy that Louis Rar made this collaboration. I went to Vianney Halter's workshop years ago and I've seen his watches at least once a year. Always when I see them, I smile and you know, one day I wanna own them. So you know, having a watch like this gets you one step closer. Considering that the Louis Rar Allen Zilberstein watches are reselling on the secondary market for a high premium, almost double the initial price, I think the Vianney Halter will follow suit. Check out the link in the description to secure your own watch. And if you have some questions, leave a comment down below. I'll be there to answer it for you guys. Like this video and subscribe, and share it with somebody who likes watches as much as you do. In the words of Vianney Halter and Captain Spock, live long and prosper. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.